All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going pawn shopping for golf clubs once again. We've been on quite the hot streak yeah, last lately. last time we got a full set of Callaway golf clubs. They're worth like six or seven hundred dollars. Yeah, we'll uh, see if the uh, luck continues. I highly doubt that it will, but uh, never know what you're going to find, so let's go find it. Let's go find it. We got a TaylorMade RBZ and a Cleveland launcher. Yeah, the original uh, RBZ. Got the stock shaft in there. I don't see a price on it, though. It's always exciting. So I saw a sticker oh. somewhere. Where is it? There. 75 bucks. And then how much is a Cleveland launcher? I actually used this in uh, high school. Did not like it very much. $35. So $100. i am going to see what the best I can do on this. Make sure it's actually Yeah, make sure it's actually that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Cool. Okay. Do you know what the best you can do on these two is? Let me check. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What was it? Um, pay for this one and uh, this one free. 75 for both. 75 cool. Is that uh, 75 out the door? Mm-hmm. Cool, we can do that. All right, pretty good pickup there. We got a TaylorMade RBZ. This is actually the bonded model, which is a little bit harder to find. They came out with a model that had the adjustable shaft and everything in there. And uh, we got the uh, Cleveland launcher. We'll see if I can hit oh, that. Oh, it's Yeah, free. it's basically a buy one, get one free there. So definitely a good deal. We'll meet you at the uh, next spot. All right, looks like they do have some uh, golf clubs. Usually they don't. In the hard goods section here, they basically just throw everything all Chaos. over the place. Yeah, because people buy it so quickly. All those people right there are waiting for the doors to open. And they basically buy it off the cart. But we do have some uh, golf clubs right here. $12.99 on an older uh, bag. Got some uh, Wilson Blue Ridges. My dad, uh, when he first started, played with the uh, Forge of the uh, Wilson Blue Ridges. Always on the lookout for those. You remember these? VCR uh, holders. There's some uh, weird stuff in here. We'll let you know. Oh, there's a ping bag right there. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right huh. there. We'll have to uh, make our way through here. There's tons of people. Yeah. All right, like an hour later, we got over here. Somebody touched it. I thought they were going to get it. This thing is uh, pretty sweet. Super light. Doesn't have any form to it. It's almost like a uh, Sunday bag on there. The oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Huh. huh. I don't even know what that is. No. I don't know oh, if that's like a course or whatever. It's got the little ping pal dude down there. How much is it? I saw the price and now I forgot what it was. Oh, $5.99, definitely going to uh, pick that up. Sweet. This place is literally chaotic. <laughs> All right, well, let's get out of here. <laughs> no, they moved the, uh, go oh no, they're over here. Got some uh, golf clubs. It's definitely going to be a copyright strike, so you're going to hear my voice the entire time. It's one of the more noticeable songs, and we've gotten a copyright strike for this song before. Yeah, absolutely. Tilly made uh, M5. Uh, a 10 size shaft in there for two twenty nine. dollars Plastic clubs. Really? Delta. Where? All these? Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some left handed deltas. Never seen those before. We got yeah. a, a full set of some top flights. Yeah. What else we got over here? Older Hawkeye knockoff. Got some Lynx Black Cats. Nike Method. Oh, nice. Nike Method putter. I don't know how we're getting that out, oh. but. Oh. There we go. There you go. Figured Always have confidence in yourself. <laughs> Nike Method putter in pretty decent condition. Yeah. Going for a 99, but these people work on prices very well here. You oh, just cool. ask me what the best they could do and it's pretty dang cheap. Got a Medicus. Left-handed Medicus, you don't see those oh, very no. often. Got a, a swing stick, VJ did a commercial for that. The speed stick, got it, I think it's a Mac Daddy, a Mac Daddy 54. There's no way this is a get copyright strike. $70 no. on a uh, Mac Daddy. Yeah, yeah, random. They used to be like held with these things and they put yeah, uh, fishing. And it was upside down, so it was like impossible. You'd have to like yeah. lay on the floor to see what they were. For sure. All right, we'll go see what nice. they'll do on the, uh, the M5. Cool. I highly doubt we'll be able to get it within range, but it's worth a try. We'll get that too. Oh, gosh. Yeah. We're getting all three? All three. All three. Yeah, all three, y'all. <laughs> all right, we ended up just getting the uh, Nike putter. It was super loud in there. I don't know if we'll be able to uh, show the uh, negotiation or anything like that. But uh, we got that one. All the other stuff was like kind of close to uh, eBay prices, yeah. which is good for a pawn shop. Usually they're a little bit more expensive. With mm -hmm. the uh, M5 for 170, that's a pretty good deal. And I thought at first I had the uh, uh, Tensai CK Orange. Yeah. That would have totally been worth it. But uh, we ended up just getting the uh, Nike Method putter. Went from $99 all the way down to a 60. This one's probably going in the collection. So it's a pretty good putter. We'll meet you to the next spot. Yeah, usually they don't. They almost drove by. Got a ping. Oh, they're missing the uh, the decal on the ping i threes. Got some old persimmons down there. I think it's really a lot of pink. Yeah. Well, these things you can just uh, order from ping. They'll oh, send yeah. them to you. Same Callaway. System four. Never seen those ones before. Is this Callaway Diablo? No, Tommy Armor. Torch. Yeah. Spalding, not TPM. No. Oh, there's this TPM. It's a touring model. TPM number. What was that? Number six. Oh, yeah. 
see if they'll sell that by itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Ping Pal butter in here too. Ping Pal 4. Let's see. Yeah. How much are the Ping irons? 140. Four and down to the witch. Uh, yeah, do you know if you'd be able to sell this putter by itself? Only this one? Yeah. I'll ask. Okay, cool. Thank you. Come on. You can do 15. 15? Uh, can you do 10 out the door? I can do 10 plus tax. 10 plus, that's fine. Huh? Cool. Thank you. All right, ended up picking up another TP Mills for our collection. This one's the TPM6, and you never really see these ones. You never really see uh, TP Mills putters with offset in the hosel. Mm -hmm. Although thinking about, it was $10. I should have asked about the ping. I guess we'll go next time. Well, next time, <laughs> yeah. we'll, it'll probably still be there. But uh, TP Mills, can't beat that. Also, that Dunkin' Donuts looked pretty sweet. It has a cool design. Yeah, all the new ones are kind of cool. All right, we'll meet you to the next spot. Whoa, that is a crazy set of Callaways back there. Got Big Bertha Mini Driver. I think it's a, uh, a set of the, uh, the it's an X22 Wedge. I'm not sure what the, oh, it's Big Bertha Irons. We have to inquire about that for sure. Usually they have the uh, clubs over here, but those ones are really good. So I think they put them behind there. We'll have to do a check out. We have been hitting with the uh, Callaway clubs. Oh, there's Mac Daddy wedges in there too. Yeah, I couldn't read which one it was. Yeah, it goes all the way up to the uh, two iron. I think that's just a random uh, newer Big Bertha iron in there, and I think it's X22s, but we'll check out. Also, it's got a ball retriever. What more could you need? Most important club in the uh, bag. Let's go. Can we take a look at the uh, golf clubs? There we go. Okay, what's your handicap? Uh, I, I used to play good. <laughs> I need some new clubs to play better. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. You would think Mario Golf was an easy game, but that game is incredible. You think? It's just a simple swing. Yeah. No, no, that's, that's the kind that you want to break it free. 109 yeah, exactly. bucks? Yeah, exactly. So this for the, this all-in set? $109 for the whole thing. Uh, yeah. Cool. We don't even need to negotiate. Yeah. I'll do that deal. You can rip off the sides for me. Cool. I don't want them back on this side. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on Just rip off the, the face. Okay. Part. That's why I was like, I'm not strong enough for that. <laughs> Is this your first time here? No, um, we bought clubs from you before. Yeah. Right. From me personally? Yeah. Let's go back here. Yeah. 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 I lost a little weight. And I had my hair down, so we actually did yeah. look different. <laughs> That was the marketing one, right? Yeah, you got uh, a good memory. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you look different. <laughs> <laughs> I never have my hair down. <laughs> All right, folks, what a deal there at the end. If that doesn't uh, make you subscribe, I don't know. Actually, this might we might have peaked here, so you <laughs> no, might. That's it. Yeah, that's There's the best video more. we're ever going to do. We're never going to find anything better. We found better stuff, but that just like happened back to yeah, back. It literally what happened are again. What the chances? The yeah. exact same thing. Yeah, a full set of Callaway Golf Clubs at a pawn shop behind the counter and we didn't have to negotiate. No, this one was even better deal too. Yeah, I think we spent $300 the last time mm -hmm. and they ended up being worth $600 and this time we spent $110. That was insane. And they're worth quite a bit of money, yeah. but uh, we just got done trying everything out at the uh, driving range. So we'll throw up some mm -hmm. shot tracers and some eBay comps, see if we got any good deals, but. Gonna say we did. Gonna say that we did. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get into the uh, yeah. the clubs. All right, first up, let's go through them um, in the order that we got them. I think we got the uh, TaylorMade RBZ and the Cleveland Launcher 3-wood at the uh, first spot. Mm -hmm. And that uh, Shop usually has some uh, really good golf clubs. They yeah. don't have very many, but when they do, they have uh, some good stuff. They got the uh, TaylorMade RBZ 10.5 degrees with the uh, stock Matrix OZ shaft, and this is the bonded model. They came out with one that had the uh, adjustable uh, lofts and uh, everything like that. And if you guys are uh, looking for a budget driver, this is definitely one to uh, look out for because they go between like $85 and $100, but they have a super high uh, sell through rate. They're very popular mm -hmm. still, and then you can usually find a really good deal. You can find them all the way down to like $60 because sometimes the paint will get uh, super yeah, messed it's up just there. Cosmetic. Yeah, cosmetic doesn't affect the uh, performance no. whatsoever so, so you can, can find a good, good deal, deal on yeah. that and these are still one of the uh, longer drivers that I've uh, ever tried out mm -hmm. not as forgiving I like the M2 a little bit better but uh, speaking of uh, not as forgiving the uh, Cleveland launcher uh, steel three wood pretty good this yeah time, you've seen I've brought it out there because sometimes I'll bring out my like high school yeah. bag we should do that bring okay. out the high school bag versus my current bag uh -huh. a little course log 
3,000 likes and we'll do that. No, that that would be a lot of fun. But the uh, Cleveland launcher couldn't hit in high school. I actually hit it pretty good today. It has like a super like traditional like steel headed. Uh, and a unique uh, sound. Yeah, unique sound. It has like and an old school feel. It was free. BOGO. Yeah, we got those uh, BOGO for $75. So definitely uh, not a bad deal there. And I think after that we went to a pawn shop that always has uh, really good golf clubs. They had a tailor made uh, M5 in there that was like $230. And then we talked them down to uh, 170 which is basically about what they go for on eBay. So if you're like trying to buy it yourself, that would have yeah. been a good deal. But I don't need a tailor-made M5, no. M2 all the way. <laughs> but uh, we did end up getting something that could not live without the uh, Nike Method Core Putter. This is the MCI Dash. 3i so it's like basically a little bit wider than a uh, normal blade and it's got yeah. the traditional answer hosel on there you guys know that we're huge nike uh, putter fans i knew it was going there actually way. somebody on uh, instagram messaged us they found a out in the wild a uh, nike uh, it's basically the blade one but the oven which is the uh, uh their tour issue department <laughs> that was the coolest thing we'll throw up a picture of that That's but awesome. uh definitely uh one of uh that guy's better finds, hopefully. I don't yes. know if you may be finding Scotty Cameron's left and right. But uh, we did not find any Scotty Cameron's no. today, but we did find a crazy deal on this uh, complete set of, oh no, we got the uh, TP Mills. How could oh, I forget about good. that? I love it. Literally, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. We were uh, at the pawn shop and I regretted not going and asking about that Ping Pal yeah. 4 while I was at the door. I was like, I could have just walked right back in. Uh, sometimes you just get tired driving around, yeah. but we'll, hopefully it's our next Logic time. is not my uh, forte. Okay. But the uh, TPM 6, world's greatest putter, what do you think? It works. It works. You can make a putt with anything. <laughs> well, what's a better challenge, me with my high school clubs or you with the shovel putting? Well, challenge, I can putt with anything. So definitely yeah, well, want to see your comparison. That's, that's what you need, guys. You need the confidence. You, you can putt confidence. with anything. <laughs> with, with a uh, dead stock uh, ball retriever. There you go. The most important thing we bought all day. Yeah, definitely. But uh, after that, we did get a complete set of uh, Callaway golf clubs. It's a little bit of a mismatch uh, in the irons, but mm -hmm. definitely a, a good deal there. Five iron all the way down to the eight iron in the uh, Callaway Big Bertha. Uh, B21s and these things go for about 75 to a hundred dollars a piece. They basically came out within the last two years I So know, I was afraid to hit them. <laughs> yeah, they are uh, really forgiving. Yes, they were. Yeah, and sometimes with the uh, especially with the older like big game improvement irons The ball flight would just be like way too high and it would spin way too much oh, gotcha. But yeah, they would balloon up in the air and especially today You would it's... think that was gonna happen because it was windy mm -hmm. We were hitting dead into the wind at the uh, driving range and those balls spin a ton because they have to float Yeah, but they actually had a really good uh, piercing ball flight. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's a, a good iron, if you uh, ask me. Not the uh, best in terms of uh, if you're on a budget, but yes. you got the money, go and spend it. <laughs> wait a couple it. years. Yeah, wait a couple years and find them at a uh, thrift store. Yeah. But uh, definitely a, a good find there. And then we also got some classics, a, a Callaway X18, a 2 iron, 3 iron. I think there's a pitching wedge with that. I and then the 9 iron is like a random uh, CF19 Pig Bertha uh, 9 iron. So yeah, all of those will be sold uh, yeah, individually if you uh, wanted to. Otherwise, so it's very unique custom set. Yeah, very unique. It, I uh, read that Bernhard Langer doesn't have like a complete set of irons and they're all like different brands. He thinks of them as tools and not like an yeah. 8 iron, 7 iron, 6 iron. This is whatever works, especially like long uh, yeah. and everything. Yeah, don't question him. He's, don't question him. He's a legend. So, but uh, also uh, one of our uh, better finds of the day in terms of the value is the uh, Callaway Big Bertha Mini 1.5. And we've hit like the TaylorMade SLDR Minis and I really like those mm -hmm. ones, but I think I like my, like Mike, might like, like Mike. Mike. Like that was a good movie. <laughs> but uh, I might like this one a, a little bit better. It's got the uh, Kurokage shaft in there, 12 degrees of loft. And like I was saying, usually those things will balloon on me. Mm -hmm. uh, but those ones didn't. I actually really liked it. Yeah, it was super easy to hit, too. And I think it's, like, shorter. So it's actually, like, basically, like, ladies' length. So I hit it really well, too. Yeah, and the head's a little bit smaller. So in, like, theory, it would be a little bit easier to get around mm -hmm. in your swing, even though they all weigh the same amount. More aerodynamics. Science. Logic and science mixed together. There you go. Neither of which I'm good at. But I hope you guys <laughs> did like this video. Oh, if you did, oh, we got. Oh yeah, we forgot the uh, Mac Daddy for uh, 60 degree wedge, the MD3 54 degree wedge. I actually really like the uh, uh, Mac Daddy, uh, the X grind on that. Mm -hmm. uh, that one's an X grind, but I like the uh, X grind. And it did and come with the Callaway bag. Yeah, Callaway bag. And then this one, my world's least favorite, or my least favorite Goodwill in the world. Words are really hard right now. <laughs> but uh, definitely a uh, good find there. I didn't realize it was a kid's bag, no. but it's, uh, cool, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's got like a swing sequence on there. So Ashley cool. sporting the Jurassic Park uh, shirt two days in a row. We went to Universal afterwards. We'll throw up a picture. Ashley got a Duff beer. Yep. It, was not, it wasn't very good. It wasn't good. Well, we got Duff Light. Maybe we yeah. got Duff Light. Oh, we should have gotten Duff Heavy. I'll well, try it next time. Next time. But I uh, hope you guys did like this video. If you did like it, subscribe. And uh, we'll see, you next time. see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.